Hello, I'm Kyung-won Cheng from Yonsei University, Severance Hospital in South Korea. And today I'll present about the feasibility and efficacy of magnetic resonance guided focused ultrasound surgery with autofocusing echo imaging. Uh, as you know, since magnetic resonance guided focused ultrasound surgery has been used in the clinical field, it has been expanding its indications from essential tremor to Parkinson's diseases, or even there are studies with such as psychiatric disorders such as OCD, glioblastoma, or dementia. It's relatively safe compared with other procedures, and it has proved its efficacy in some functional disorders. Uh, skull density ratio is one of the key for successful MRGFS treatment. Since our institute developed the concept in 2016, SDR over 0.4 has been used as an indicator for making an optimal thermal lesion in the brain. When the ultrasound passes through the skull, the skull reflects, scatters, and absorbs the ultrasound energy. Therefore, measuring the skull density uniformity is important to predict the skull penetration. The autofocusing echo imaging technique used in this study is designed to measure the inside to phase operation for the specific patient being treated rather than relying on theoretically predicted mapping from the CT scan. Autofocusing algorithms are mainly based on model of an imaging of a strong reflector in the focal region of the transducer. The idea implemented in use is using the standard imaging ultrasound contrast agents serving as reflectors. Uh, the main idea behind echo imaging focusing is to introduce point scatter in the focal region. Point scatterer reflects ultrasound illumination in a spherical waveform disregarding the incident wave properties. Measuring this wave coming back from inside the brain provides direct measurements for phase and amplitude distortions that can be used for the optimal tailored phase correction and relative amplitude calibration. From this image, you can see the concept of transducer receiving signals from the micro bubbles. And measuring the wave amplitude from the re reflected focal regions makes the echo imaging correction more uh, precise than the CT phase, phase correction. Here's the method of our clinical study. From December 2019 to March 2020, we recruited 10 patients with low SDR. Uh, two patients dropped out of the clinical trial due to screening failure of previous medical history. Total eight patients were included in our study, and MRG FPS thalamotomy, which targeting VIM, uh, was in six patients with essential tremor. MRGFS pallidotomy, which targeted GPI into patients with Parkinson's disease. Autofocusing echo imaging technique was used in this study. So this is the patient's demographics. The mean SDR of the patients were 0.35. The mean volume was 282. Uh, so this is the results. Uh, the mean SDR of the patients with essential tremor was 0 0.34, and the mean uh, with the Parkinson's diseases was 0 0.41. The mean skull volume of the patients with essential tremor was 280, and the, with patients with Parkinson's disease was 287. During the MRG FUS, average of 15 sonications were performed among 5.6 uh, were using autofocusing technique. The mean maximal temperature achieved was 55.88 Celsius, and the mean energy delivered was 34.75 kilojoules in patients with ETMPD, Parkinson's disease. No serious adver adverse events occurred during and after the treatment. The uh, 
CRST score and the UPDRS score of essential tremor and Parkinson's disease were dis decreased. Uh, from this table, you can see the uh, number of the sonications and the sonications which use the autofocusing technique in each patient. And every patient achieved the uh, maximum temperature in which they, they uh, consume as a therapeutic temperature. This is the MRI of our patients. So the above MRI is the essential tremor patients. You can see the VIM thalamotomy using the autofocusing technique. You can see the white spot in the T2 image. Uh, below image is the Parkinson's diseases using the autofocusing technique. You can see the GPI. Uh, it has the white spot. Uh, well-treated ablated lesion in the GPI. Um, the table on the right is the CRST score of our patient. You can see that the post-op uh, CRST score decreased than the pre-op um, CRST score. So this is our conclusion. With all the focusing echo imaging, uh, MRG FUS lesioning technique, safe and efficient, uh, treatment is available even for patients with low SDR, which could expand the MRG FPS lesioning indications to SDR below 0 0.4 for, pa for patients with essential tremor and SDR below 0 0.45 for patients with Parkinson's disease. Thank you for uh, the audience.